Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we are diving into some more Stray Kids content. Um, if you saw recently that I reacted to episode one of One Kid's Room, well, that's because I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, in that reaction, I mentioned that I was just going to watch all of them, maybe not all in this particular sitting, but yeah, I like, I liked the first episode. It, it gave me a lot of, you know, perspective on IN specifically, because that's who the episode was about, but also just the dynamics in the group and who might be a little bit closer to who and it just, it, it's fun. I like, I like this stuff. Um, yes, I love their music. I love watching them be sexy and delicious but i also like just getting to know things about them so now we're going to dive into episode two which is all focused on my bias wrecker mr sung min although as i said in episode one's reaction sung min and felix are my bias wrecker and like at this point bias bias wrecker and you know different things they're not even just like people or rank they're like levels there's like tiers of fandom so right now my bias is bang chan we know this and then my bias wreckers is a tier with felix and sung min but sung min lately has been doing a lot trying to wreck this bias he trying to so I, we might end up just having to move sung min up into the bias and that's not just going to be a person it's just going to be a platform now um we'll have to wait and see but either way we're going to dive into sung min and just see what he does see what he does 안녕하세요. 저는 스키즈의 승민입니다. <웃음> 그는 이민호의 난관에 <웃음> 동착했다. 승민은 댕댕하다. 승민 성실하다, 성실하다. 성실? 댕댕? 어벙하다. <웃음> 성실한데 어벙벙한 거야. 성벙하다 어때? 냄새 왜 이렇게 좋냐? 상담하기 난 편한데. Oh, you better sniff him, girl. Okay, Bang Chan. 멘탈이 세다. 음. Sorry, Ching Bin. I always get the names flip flop. 맞아, 형이 깨뜨리지. 약간 약간 천적이야, 천적. 승민 인생 최대 난관. 이민호. 아 근데 승민이랑 멘탈 기자 쎄. 맞아? 응. 잘 삐져서 그렇지? 맞아. 아 근데 삐졌다가도 멘탈이 좋으니까 애가 금방 풀려. 많이 그만 풀려. 승민 응. 승민이 약간 그러는 것 같아. 막 한번 삐지고 본인이 생각하기에 아니 이거 삐질 거는 아니다 해서 얘기 맞아. 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 아무리 잘해도 내가 너무 잘한다. 어, 이거는 굳이 내가. 등이에 멘탈이 강한 거죠. 그렇지? 솔직히 얘기하면 멤버들이 막, 막 놀리거나 그럴 때막 멤버들이 뭐라 한다, 놀린다. 조금 막 삐지거나 그러긴 하는데 제가 또 그러니까 삐지는 게 오래 가는 스타일이 아니라 잘 삐지는데 어 그게 금방 풀려요. 쉽게 삐지고 쉽게 풀리는 스타일. 아, 네, 승민 약간 가끔씩 우리 너무 스케줄 바쁘고 너무 할게 많을 때 그때 약간 깨지긴 내. 아 맞아. Well, girl, that that same. <웃음> 완전 그냥 가. 그때 우리 다 그러니까 다. I hate having to rush everywhere. 그때 딱 자기 관리가 안 되니까. 승민이는 자기 관리가 철저하다. 아까 철저하게 얘기했듯이 철저하게 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 아, 그냥 자기 페이스가 깨질 때 가장 멘탈이 깨지는 거 같아. 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. 맞아, 맞아. 진짜 부지런한 거 같아. 와. 부지런한 친구지. 자 하루에 양심 몇번 하는 거야? 우와. 한 여섯 번 하는 거 같아 진짜. 아니 다리 캐서 그러다가. 그리고 등민이. Girl, I mean look at those teeth, they're gorgeous. 하루 갔는데 할게 아 치석제 너가 말 치석제 하러 갔는데 할게 없다고 그냥 가라 이때. 직관에서. 와우. 진짜 잘 닦나 보다. 대단한데? 제가 생각하기에는 지금 자기 관리를 좀 철저하게 하고 있는 것 같습니다. 매일 매일 그러니까 오늘 뭐 느낀 점까지는 아니더라도. 어, 요새 한동안 안 쓰다가 올해 2월, 3월부터 다시 이제 매일매일 스케줄을 이렇게 정리하면서 몇 시에 뭘 했고 몇 시에 뭘 했고 이런 건 정리를 해줬는데 뭔가 2월, 3월부터 이렇게 써놓은 걸쭉 보니까 진짜 빽빽하더라고요. It's like a journal or a diary. 승민이 그게 좀큰 리스펙트인 게 승민이가 제일 중요하게 생각하는 게 녹음. 어 그래서 녹음을 그렇게 중요하게 생각하는 거죠. 아 인정 멋있어요. 뭐, 진짜 음원이라는 게 평생 남는 거잖아. 그 생각으로 얘가 엄청 열심히 그 준비하고 연습하고 그, 그 이유가 그 믹스테이프 앨범 중에 어린 날기 있잖아요. 응. 걔가 아직까지도 나한테 야 어린 날기 너무 너무 아쉬운 것 같아요. <웃음> 그래서 그것 때문에 <웃음> 그거를 나 2년. I mean we are our own worst critics sometimes. 평생 남는 건데 베스트로 보여줘야겠다라는 생각 때문에 녹음하는 것 같아. 노래적인 거에 굉장히 좀 예민해서 뭐 목을 써야 하는 날이 있다 그러면 무조건 뭐 아무 연습이 있어도. 
되도록이면 에어컨 안 틀고 항상 에어컨 안 틀고 자고 진짜 더워도 에어컨 잘안 틀고 자고요 뭐 마스크 하는 거는 필수고 어 그리고 최대한 뭔가 멋있는 why? 옷보다는 why, why are you making yourself hot? 따뜻한 거를 선호하고요 일단 안 아파야 되니까 I mean yes it's important <웃음> not to get sick 멋있는 모습을 보여줄 때는 but why, why are we not using air conditioning? 어, I mean, I, you're not living in Florida, so it's a kind of a requirement for me here. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
그런 일탈도 하는 사람이라는 걸 잊지 말아 주셨습니다. 진짜 별거 없어요, 저. 네. Oh, there's lots special about you, baby. Okay, super duper adorable. Um, there were a couple little things in there um, with Sung Min that I, I related to in a sense. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get a better perspective on just each of the members. So like here we got to see that Sung Min is kind of a perfectionist when it comes to his craft. Um, he likes to have a lot of control over just things that he's doing, things in life. Um, very diligent. That seemed to be the common word that everybody in the band came up with. Like they would come up with other words, but they kept coming back to diligent, 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 diligent. Um, he's got a very good level head on his shoulders. Um, and he, he just has this sense of maturity about him. He's, he just has this wisdom about him. And let me see. So he's, he's the second youngest. Is, is that the order that we're, that these were recorded in? Um, youngest old? No, it's not, because next the next episode is Lee No, but he's actually the second oldest, at least according to this list. Okay, so now never mind, there goes that theory. But yeah, he just seems to have this wisdom about him. Um, he just seems like may, maybe he's just an old soul. I don't know, but he has this air of wisdom around him, and I, I wisdom and maturity. And then y'all already know. His diction, his diction, his speaking voice is gorgeous. That is what drew me to him in the first place before I even looked about looks and physical. Because yes, the physical is gorgeous. He's a very, very delicious man. Um, but just his his voice, his tone, his diction, everything about his speaking voice is what drew me to him that first time, like second, third video I reacted to, I don't remember. Um, but that's what drew me to him. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And ever since then, I've just loved and loved him even more. Um, yeah, and you can see that the members, they seem to have like a really good like level of respect for him, which is another reason why I feel like he just feels older. He feels like he could be one of like the senior members in the band, but no, he's he's he, he baby, he a little baby. Um Yeah, he just he he's he's just got this wisdom, but he's also got, you know, that silly side to him too. Um as he as <laughs> As everyone illustrated, he has this tendency of just like walking into a room, not saying a damn thing, and just being like, "Ta da!" and then leaving, or just open, coming in the door, opening a door, and just looking, and then just leaving. Which I'm like, I relate to that in a sense. Like I don't do it all the damn time, but yes, I relate to that in a certain sense. That that, that feels very familiar to me. Um, so, you know, he can be silly, he, he, he can fool around, um, and you can see that he really cares about his brothers very, very much, um, from just the way he was talking about the drumsticks in that last little section, is that last little section there, um, and how, you know, yes, he really likes the drumsticks, but he usually doesn't eat them a lot unless there's, you know, some left over who make sure everybody else gets whatever, and just like, you know, he cares, he cares about them, and he even says, I don't even have to say how much I care about these guys, and it's, you can see it, you can see it in just, it's, it's sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet, they're all sweet, sweet boys, and I love them, and, you know, yeah, maybe this might be pump him up into the bias territory maybe i don't know we just have to wait and see how things pan out but either way i'm enjoying these and i'm looking forward to diving to the next one so i'm going to stop babbling so i can get into the next one hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.